Find a customer's house, and we're gonna we're gonna plug in the uh, different. We went from uh, the wall over here, plugged it in, and see and see what the dirty power was. Now we're gonna, we're gonna move it maybe to another phase of the house. So go ahead and plug that in, Eric, if you could. And then I'm gonna hand you the video here. All right. So these you can see here, the 60 kilohertz is not as bad. Is it because it's away from maybe the smart meter side of the house with the neighbors possibly? Let me hold on this here. Now let's go and try the the different um, uh, sign tamer. Dirty dirty powers. This is a sign tamer. We're gonna plug What's the initial reading with the Well this yeah, let's plug this in and plug the max in it. Let's plug this in. So what this is before it was like eighty or sixty, went down to twenty or went down to ten mm -hmm. on the different measurements. So this is this is 44, so it's right about the same, actually. So it's right about the same amount of dirty power on this on this uh, tri, tri field, which you plug into the walls, mm -hmm. which is what we used to do for years as building biologists, and we're kind of guessing. But this prevents the guessing. That's why this is so powerful here. So I'm gonna go and plug this sign tamer in here and see what happens. Plug this in. Yeah, so it did a really good job. So it's about the same amount of job. A little bit more down into here. But I'm gonna unplug this here. And I bet you, I wouldn't be surprised that the DNA works way better on here, possibly, than what it did before. It's on a different phase. That's why sometimes you need both sets if you're living in a home and you want to invest into it. And I'll just plug this in. And let me plug the sign camera back in again. Well, this yeah, went down to went down to 25, where before it went down to about 22 on the other on the other circuit. Okay. Now let's plug in the, the DNA. Look over here, then we'll point back up the, the tri-field. Oh, it's it's about it's about the same, but it's it went down more to, of an improvement there. Yeah, more improvement. It didn't, it didn't. It shows it here. It went down to fifteen. Right. Where before, if I plug that back in, it went down to twenty-five. So this is a good overall um, feel of what's going on. It's fast, but again, I still think that uh, from a frequency standpoint. This is a good bang for the buck right here. But overall, it's showing with this that it's actually doing a good job overall. But again, if you had the massive frequency there, maybe it's better to, to focus on the sign tamer or possibly even consider it. Now, let me plug them both in. We didn't do it, we didn't do it on the other circuit. Yeah, I'm just curious. Use them both in so this is, right now, it's down to 25. It went down to 10 with this by itself. Okay. Now, let's plug them both in. That now it's thir it didn't help at all. We got 13. I'm going to plug the sign tamer now. Whoops. Yeah, both I'm going to unplug the sign tamer. 15. So not a whole lot of difference. So, I saw more of a difference over here. Yeah, okay. so let's plug this in too. Because this is going to get the lower end better too, probably. And then the higher peaks, I think, it might help. Yep, that's exactly what happened. So Clean it up still. Yeah, it's still clean up. So for a higher, for a likely hyper sensitive person, they would really need to get both of these, but if they only, from a budget standpoint, you would get the sign tamer. Then if you don't, have, if you have a smart meter in the house, you definitely got to get a sign tamer for the surge protection, especially if you can't opt out. This house is an opt out house, so we're able to focus the, the, where you can go either one. But from the budget again, sign tamer is going to, going to be a little bit better. So okay, I think that's that. That's it. All right.